Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's continue with the question number 16 today. Okay, the question number 16. Let me read the question first. The distance between the point x comma y and the origin is larger than square root of 5 is expressed as... Okay, we are dealing with, right, the distance. So, when you see the word distance, uh, you should immediately think of what? The distance formula, which is when we are given a point x comma y and the origin which is 0 comma 0 right the distance formula is right x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square right this gotta be larger larger than square root of 5 so here is our expression so square root of x square plus y square gotta be greater than square root of 5 in other words x squared plus y squared is greater than 5, right? So among our answer choices, which satisfy, um, which satisfy this is, what is it? It is C, right? Okay, uh, let's move on to the next question. 17, let the operation, uh, this thing, be defined by a circle B is equal to this for all number A and B. If two circles uh, 3 is equal to 5 circle K, what is the value of K? Okay, so two circle 3 is according to this rule here. It is 6 plus 3 plus 1, which is equal to 10, right? 5 circle K is equal to 5K plus K plus 1. It is 6k plus 1. 10 is equal to 6k plus 1. Therefore, k is 6k is equal to 9. This is equal to 9. Therefore, k is equal to um, uh, 2 over uh, 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2. Therefore, among our answer choices, A is a correct answer. Okay, let's move on. Number 18. If x over x minus y is equal to 5x over y, then x over y is... Okay, how do we solve this question? As you know, cross multiplication, x, y is equal to 5x uh, times x minus y. Divide each side by, uh, let's say, y. This makes 5x x minus y over x, right? y over y. Divide each side by x again, then it will uh, leave this side 1, right? 1 is equal to 5x minus y over y, right? 1 is equal to 5x minus 5y over y, right? Then we can rewrite this as 1 is equal to 5 x over y minus cancels out 5 move 5 to the left side then we get 6 is equal to 5 times x over y divide each side by 5 6 over 5 is equal to x over y therefore our answer choice answer a uh, correct answer got to be 6 over 5 among our answer choices b is the correct answer okay let's move on to number 19 in the parallelogram below, the length of toward BD is equal to... Okay, which law should we use? When we are given a length of AB and we are given a length of AD. We are given a length of AD, how? Because this is a parallelogram, right? A length of BC is equal to length of AD. So the, here, this side is also 12, right? So we are looking for... The length of BD, therefore, the only only law we, which we can use is, what is it? Law of cosine, right? So, x squared is equal to 11 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 11 times 12 times cosine, 100 degree, right? Right? Solve this and x is equal to um, 17.63. So, among our answer choices, D is our correct answer. Okay, let's move on to number 20. The range of sine y equals sine x is. Okay, this is the simplest question. We all